What's up, everybody? I am BK, bkbangers.com. Welcome to another Sample School Sundays, episode 37 to be exact. Exact the Mundo. Today's episode, BK like always, find a sample, we chop it up, we flip it. I was digging through my hard drive as per the last episode 36. If you haven't seen episode 36, be sure to check out episode 36 once you get through with this one. All right. Um, but yeah, I was running through my hard drive of samples and I came across this sample. It is from uh, Second Direction, an old jazz group. I believe. Don't quote me though. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, but I'll be positive if they come around, you know, asking questions. You gotta be sure. You gotta make sure you know where you uh keep notes of where you're sampling. BK and uh in the M since I'm on notes, uh in the MPC software, there's a project notes tab so you know you could put your where you sampled from the artist name you know title of the song and all that so per se if a song you do transfers over to you know a hit record or a record label picks it up for a particular artist and they and it's going on an album and they want to you know check all the samples you have that in your project file all right so just be be tidy you know and always keep notes of where your sample came from because you never know might take off you feel me so with that much said i'm gonna get right to work if this is your first time here thank you for coming through if you are a subscriber and you check this these uh sample school sundays out every sunday when they release at 8 a.m and at 2 p.m., we try, we're testing this this new little thing out. We're releasing two episodes each week. Um, thank you, thank you for, for checking them out. Because without you, there would be no views. Without no views, <laughs> they don't populate in the search engine. All right, so that's enough talking. I got the sample in Serato sample and I have it in um, the MPC chopped up. Uh, I like it in Serato, but I like it in the MPC. So I'm gonna kind of like see which one I'm gonna go with. But uh, catch you on the flip. So uh, this is the sample. I just, I'll go to the sample actually. So that's the sample. And this is one of the chops that I want to work with. So that's the part of the sample that I'm hearing for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that sample. I counted, I'm kind of counting the bars and I think it's about, I'm gonna put 16 bars cause it's gonna be in double time. Let's see. see. Sometimes, the, uh, for whatever reason, the MPC, the timing be a little bit off, especially when you get when you got the time correction on. So sometimes I like to 
do the chops without the time correction, being that it's on, I gotta figure this part out. I was trying to go around it, but I got to put the uh, the timing in here. I think it was So that took me entirely too long. Sometimes the slices don't fall where they, where you hear them, or yeah, it don't fall on the grid the way you you play it. But then you gotta, you know, tweak it and make it work. So we got this going. What I'm going to do right now is. I'm going to duplicate this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna copy the sequence. Sequence two. those two sequences going next thing I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go to the drums which I already got loaded So I'm going to go ahead and record these hi-hats. So we got those drums rocking on sequence one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate and go to sequence two and um try to make it do what it do.
right, so we got that rocking. I'm gonna try to see if I could think if I should go 808 now, do 808 last. I do have this piano. I'm gonna see if this piano works. We go to this next, the first sequence. Um, track three. I'm gonna play with this piano sound. See what I come up with first. If I if it don't work, cause it really don't need no other sound, no additional sound to layer. That's one thing that you guys gotta realize. Even myself is that sometimes the the uh plain and simple is best because it leaves the track open for an artist to do what they do and add what what you're hearing like sometimes we we add we add and we 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 uh cloud cloud it and the artists when they hear it they're gonna snap off of it if it's open if they hear a pocket they're gonna get it but if you you know if you cloud that pocket then they they can't you know what i'm saying it might be a, a nice beat might be tough for the listening purposes but for actual artistry sometimes you gotta leave an open gap all right so that i said that to you guys but that's also a, a notation for myself to remember that um yo it might be all you need is to add the bass and you good you know what i mean that's cool so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the next uh sequence and see if i could mimic that performance
so that's that's smooth. Gotta lower the volume of this uh this piano. It's all about getting the right levels on your um on your instruments sometimes you you know say oh i don't want to use this instrument and disengage it because you know for whatever reason you don't like it but for some some sometimes it's just a matter of leveling out the instrument and blend it you need the proper blend you know, so I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for an 808 and see what I come up with. If you've been following the channel, I've shown how to do key groups. So I'm not really gonna, you know, talk it. I'm just gonna show it. But I've already explained how to go about the key groups. finished doing was uh i shaped the 808 to sound the way how i wanted to sound how i wanted to play if you're interested in learning how to do that i have a, a video on the channel it's uh how to how to make sample beats from uh one shot using key groups so if you check that video out you'll be able to learn how to how to do that if you're interested So I got that rocking and rolling and grooving and scoping. I think that's about it. I'm trying to see if I could stack some some sounds, some additional sounds out of the sample. I'm off of this Serato sample from what I already got going.
right, y'all. So that is my time. Synopsis of today's episode, like always, is to keep working, keep at it. Uh, I ran into some technical difficulties with the 808. I like the original sound of the 808, but it was after putting it in its root. No, it became pitchy when trying to move it around the key bed, as well as, um, you know, I had to level out the levels a little bit because it was sounding a little crazy. It still sounds crazy because I didn't I didn't mix the drums at all. I just got the drums going because I need that. I need that knock to um to actually deliver what I feel. See what I'm saying? That's why I don't I don't draw in notes. I play it live from my MPC live or my MPC MPK mini. I have to do that. I could I could I could make adjustments, you know, on the canvas after but to draw it and pluck in and you know drawing the click in the notes, I can't do that. I don't know how some of you do it. Um shout out to everyone that, that actually does that. Cause y'all be making some bangers for real. But that ain't my thing. So the synopsis of today's episode is to, you know, just keep working, working, keep going at your heart's content. If you need any uh, guidance on how to take single shot uh, samples, such as pianos, any any one shot samples, and you want to make a, a instrument out of it, be sure to uh, check out that video. This one of the most recent videos I did. So if you go to the channel, you'll see how to make how to make sample beats from one shots using key groups. All right. So let me go to this. Uh, so let me save. I'm gonna play back what what we started with. So these. We started with the with the um sample. And we added the drums, but I'm a I'm a uh I'm gonna play it without the drums. Then we added the piano. Then we added the 808, but I'm not gonna play the 808 yet. Then we added the the additional sample to you know play on top. That's pretty much it, y'all. Keep keep at it. You'll get there one day. I'm still not where I need to be as far as production is concerned. Um, but it's been a long time, man. And I get better daily. I was about to say weekly. Hopefully, these sample schools um, Sunday episodes are getting better weekly. But um, sometimes, you know. You find a dud, you make you might make a dud. And I'm so real about it is that I record it as a dud and you know publish it as a dud. Cause it's about the learning experience. I don't do these videos for likes and views, although we need views and to retain the information we need likes. 
but I'm not do that's not what I'm doing it for again I'm only doing this to teach someone each one teach one maybe my son one day will run through the archives when he ready to pick up the NPC for real for real and you know he want to do it on his own time and don't be coming like daddy can can you daddy can you just run through the channel and all the instructions that I've I've shown he can he can uh do it on his own time not that I have a problem with him coming to me that's a whole other that might have came out wrong but what I'm saying is that each one teach one and hopefully you guys are learning something from this I mean I don't give the best uh I don't give the best example sometimes sometimes I don't I don't uh, I'm not descriptive in my teaching but you know I, I call out the points that need to be called out and that's about it all right so do remember that music is life it is our DNA y'all keep banging peace love light till next time next week next week actually if you haven't caught episode 36 be sure to go catch episode 36 and backlog okay. you know what i'm saying let's get these numbers up salute to every all you new subscribers um oh i hope you guys be checking out messages for those of you who are subscribers because i do be sending out personalized messages to each individual subscriber and that takes time out of my day or if i have someone do it for me that takes time to do, to actually do that so I hope you guys are receiving those messages on your inbox. I know a lot of you might not even check YouTube's um, message box because we don't really be messaging on YouTube. But I thank each and every one of you at least once a week personally in your message, in your box, in your inbox, in YouTube. All you new subscriber, once you subscribe, and I and I receive that oh I have a new subscriber I then go inside of YouTube and in the back thingy and I message you all right so shout out to you if you are a new subscriber thank you so much to all my subscribers out there who are avid viewers thank you so much and until next week y'all peace Y'all, peace for real, for real. Go check out them, them last episodes of Sample School Sunday. All right, and enjoy your Sunday. If you made it this far in the video, enjoy your Sunday. Thank you. Peace. Till next week.